Hey everybody, this is Blue Beam Man, and this video, we're gonna talk about something really cool, super duper productivity hack in Blue Beam called auto sequencing, yeah. Okay, so auto sequencing, which is really, really cool. It's probably one of my favorite tools for labeling. Let's just say this is a floor plan here and these green dots are those car readers, those things you put those little badges on, you go beep and then the door opens and you have to label them because you're gonna be reviewing this drawing with your general contractor, electrical contractor. You could do this with just about anything. What's really cool is this is what I found. Now you can do this with any text box. You can do this with any typewriter tool, but I like the text box. So I'm just gonna to go to tools, markup text box, and I'm just gonna create a text box right here. And we're gonna call this CR for card reader dot one dash. Maybe let's do two dash because this is the second floor. And then after the dash, here's what's important. So if you wanna do like card reader two dash one, two, three, four, five, and if you have um, devices that go past like a, you know, a two digit number or even a three digit number, you wanna make room for it. So in this case, I know that I don't have 100 devices, so I'm gonna make room for two devices. So now that I have my little text box here, I'm gonna hit Alt Z to do a little auto size text box. Now I'm making two placeholders for 01, 02, 03, okay? Once this is done, what you do is you right click and you add this to your My Tools anywhere you want, but I'm gonna add this here. I made a couple um, when I was testing this out, but let's just delete those. Now that it's here, this is basically just a text box, nothing fancy, but if you right click on it, you can go down to sequence and then you can define the sequence, okay? Now what this says is the prefix says, what text is gonna be before when it's gonna to start to go one, two, three, four, five. And I'm gonna say this is gonna be CR dot two dash. After the dash, I want it to count one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, all the way up, right? Just like when you're in kindergarten. I'm gonna click okay. Boom, now this has a little, like a little play button. I think that's like reversed or maybe it's the right way. I'm gonna click on this and now, actually wait, first off, I'm gonna delete this because we wanna get rid of that. Now what'll happen is all I have to do is click once on my left mouse, left, left click on my mouse button, boom. Then it goes to the next one, two. And I'm gonna go over here, I'm gonna go to the mother's room, three. And then you can make different colors, four, five, you wanna get the electrical room, you definitely wanna get the server room, six, seven and eight. Now that was super, super fast. Now if you wanna end this sequence, you can either right click or you can hit escape on your mouse. Boom, and you have everything labeled. Now let's just say you wanna take those labels to a new level and give them like a nice red color so you can see them. Obviously we all know what the markups list is. It's somewhere around here. Maybe it's over, where is that bad boy? Where's that markups list? There it is, okay, it was hiding. So if I go over to my um, my text boxes, which is interesting, it says text box. Um, it should be, I guess that's where it is, um, because what I made it, instead of like I putting a thing called card reader label, but let's just say I wanna highlight all of them and I just wanna change them to red. So I'm gonna change their text color to red and now they pop a little bit better. So there you go. So that is how you make sequences. It's pretty simple. Any text box, you add it to a tool chest, you right click on it, you go to sequence and define and then you give it a prefix and whatever space holder is there ready to receive the numbering schematics, it'll number one through whatever, right? So if you want to go up to 100, you can go to 100. Now let's say you want to go to the third floor, you simply right click, you go sequence define, and you change this to a three. And then what happens after the three? When you click okay, it says, do you want to rebuild everything you just did? You say, no, I don't. And then you go to the page number three and you relabel all the third floor readers, right? I move too fast because sometimes I do that. Now, what if you've done everything and on this page here and you wanna add a new one? Well, and you've already done the third floor and you wanna go back to the second floor. Well, you can either create different ones for each floor or you can simply right click and say resume sequence and boom, there you go. Now off you go. So it's up to you whether you wanna take it to different colors, to different backgrounds. You can do a whole bunch of things with sequences, but I think the biggest thing is to know that you can do it and then let your imagination run wild with Bluebeam. You can create a bunch of prefixes, you can create suffixes. I haven't done a lot with the suffixes on the back end, 
But for the most part, you can do most of your basic numbering. You could even just label one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, all the way up, and you don't even need the prefix in the front. But I always like to do the prefix because sometimes I want to right click and duplicate and create a new one. And this one, I might want to do a different type of device, maybe like a door contact, right? And I want that to be on this floor too. So I want to create a different numbering sequence. I don't want to relabel everything I just did. And now maybe I want to go relabel a different device. So the world is your oyster. You can crush it with the sequences. If you have any questions, feel free to email me at epiclifeskills at gmail.com. I'll respond back to you. I'll send you a quick video if you have any questions. But sequences are super cool, high productivity um, to go crush it with Bluebeam and make your drawings more productive and more collaborative. Have a great day.